Hey everybody, so today I'm going to explain the position property in CSS. There's five possible values, relative, fixed, absolute, sticky, and static. Let's begin by creating a div section. I'll give this div an ID of box1. Within my style sheet, we will select the ID of box1. I'll set the width to be 200, 200 pixels height to be 200 pixels as well, and a background color, background dash color. Let's go with the blue color. We haven't picked blue for a while. That's pretty good. All right, the position property. With a position set to relative, relative positions an element relative to where it normally should be. With our position property set to relative, we can move this element to the right, to the left, upwards, or downwards. We do have the properties of top, bottom, left, right. To push this element down relative to where it normally is, I can set top to some value. We can do that in pixels. If I set top to be 100 pixels, this element will be pushed downwards by 100 pixels relative to where it normally is in the top left corner. Another property is left. I will push this element to the right by 100 pixels by setting left to be 100. So now this element is pushed to the right by 100. Relative to where it normally is, it's down and to the right by 100 pixels. Negative 100 would move this element up. Left set to negative 100 would move the element to the left. It's kind of backwards. This element is positioned relative to where it normally should be. Then we have fixed. With fixed, an element is positioned relative to the viewport, meaning the web browser. For this example, we're going to need a whole lot of paragraphs, like 20 of them. I'll type lorem, hit tab to generate some text, copy this line, and paste it like 20 times. Alright, that's good enough. Let's get rid of these properties. I will set the position to be fixed. This element is now fixed within the viewport. It's stuck in the top left corner. If I were to scroll down, this element is still in the top left corner of my web browser. This element can be fixed to the right by setting the right property to be zero pixels. Zero works as well. So now this element is in the top right corner. With the bottom property, if I were to set that to be zero pixels, well, now this element is in the bottom right corner. This might be good for an advertisement if you had a banner. For the bottom left corner, that's left zero, bottom zero. That is the fixed position. This element is fixed in my viewport, my web browser. Then we have absolute. With absolute, an element is positioned relative to its nearest ancestor. Think of an ancestor as a containing class. Within box1, we'll create box2. Change the ID to box2. With box1, let's set box1 to be relative. Then get rid of these properties. We'll create box2 by copying box1. Change the ID to box2. The width will be 100. The height will be 100 but we'll pick a different color. Something red is good. The position for box two will be absolute. Since box two is contained within box one, box one is its nearest ancestor. If I were to move box one, box two is still going to stay in the top left corner of box one. Let me demonstrate. I'll set the top property to be 100 pixels then left to be 100 pixels as well. So even though we're moving box one, box two, it's positioned absolutely. It's still going to stay within its container. Let's try and put box two right in the middle of box one. I will set the top property to be 50 pixels and the left property to be 50 as well. Now box two is right in the middle of box one. We can move box one anywhere Let's set the position of box one to be fixed. 
So box two is still gonna stay right in the middle of box one, no matter where it is. So that is the absolute position. An element is positioned relative to its nearest ancestor. Then there's sticky. A sticky element is positioned based on the current scroll position, meaning our scroll bar, so to say. With box one, box one will be sticky. Let's set top to be zero pixels. What happens now is that when I scroll down, our web browser is going to catch this element. Sticky is kind of similar to fixed. With sticky, we reserve some space for the original element. If I were to change that to fixed, this element is just basically stuck to the top of my viewport. With sticky, it's going to be in the same place until we scroll past it. All right, then lastly, they're static. Static is the default position for an element. In the future, we will have the capability of changing these positions dynamically. To set a position to the default, which is static, you just change it. So those are the five position types, relative, fixed, absolute, sticky, and static. We'll have more practice with this in the future, so don't worry. This was more or less just an introduction. And those are CSS positions.